Hello everyone, I am Jazz Chapman, this is Jazz Chapman TV, and today I wanted to talk about my experience on Robin Hood. Okay, so before we want before we get started, I just wanted to talk about uh PayPal prepaid MasterCard for a minute. Uh for those who of you for those of you who may not have a regular checking account or you want to basically stop overdrafting your account, uh PayPal prepaid MasterCard, you cannot overdraft because it is a prepaid card and it's great i've been using it for seven years um it's come in handy i of course i can get uh, my money direct deposit to there and and i have no issues using it so if you want to sign up for paypal prepaid mastercard you can use the link down below in the description box and once you have gotten your mastercard you can deposit forty dollars and you will receive a twenty dollar credit once you use my link in the description box below and after that if you want to get your referral uh, link to send to your friends to refer to them after they have gotten their MasterCard and deposited forty dollars you both will get twenty dollars so it's basically it's also a little free money uh, money you can end up investing with yes you can invest with twenty dollars <laughs> so uh, and of course, if you do a referral for your friend, then it's $40. So it's a great little way to get a little extra cash in your pocket or cash in your investment portfolio. So back to the video, shall we? I actually signed up for Robinhood in summer of 2020. And uh, my father had told me about Robinhood like three years ago. But last year when I signed up, I could not... Uh, get an account because of an issue with my address and so now i was able to finally get an account with robin hood and um i have to say it was actually very easy to to learn how to navigate through the app um i had also signed up for td ameritrade at the same time but robin hood just seemed so much easier to understand for a new investor like myself and so i was loving Robin Hood, even though I would notice, uh, you know, with my trades, it would process slow sometimes. So what I end up doing is, uh, maybe a month or so later, I signed up with their gold membership. It was five dollars a month, and I believe it was on a free trial. And I basically got features of the app that I didn't get. I got a little bit more information on certain companies every time I would click on it and so that was something that I liked about Robinhood what I also liked about Robinhood was the fractional shares okay so I could buy pieces of Amazon not spend a ton of money pieces of Tesla especially before Tesla did the split um I would buy Apple I, you know, I would buy fractional shares of the big companies, and I love that. And I, you know, I would sometimes I would sell them and, and make a little extra class, uh, extra cash. I would swing trade, and so I love that about Robinhood was the fractional shares. Um, I, of course, I got once I first signed up, I got a free stock. It was great. It was great to basically start off with the stock before I even got started, um, before I even really knew what I wanted to invest in. Another pro of Robinhood was that um, the stocks that I signed up for with uh, dividend paying stocks like the different banks and stuff like that, I end up setting my account to drip. For those who may not know what drip is, Drip is dividend reinvestment plan, and so so of course uh, one of the bigger bonuses of Robinhood is that they don't charge you fees on commissions. They don't charge you fees to trade stocks, and and, and they don't charge you fees to trade stocks, and so that's great, especially for 
uh, you know, new investors like myself, the millennials, um, they do great <laughs> on Robinhood. Okay, so a con of Robinhood is that they do not have any mutual funds or bonds that you can invest in on the on the app. And so um, initially I wanted to do some investing in mutual funds and index funds, but you can't do that with Robinhood. So that was a kind of Robinhood. Another kind of Robinhood was, of course, slow processing time when I was doing my trades, especially if you're doing it by the market. Prices or whatever sometimes would jump up on you. You're trying to lock it in, but it would jump up on you while you're making a transaction. And so that was a con, but what, of course, you can also set up limit, limit stops on your account and uh, basically on how much you want to spend or sell or buy your, your stocks for. And, of course, you don't have to be on the account to, to be uh, making a trade in the moment. Okay, so... Now it's November of 2020, and this is my account on Robinhood. Zero dollars. And as you can see, your Robinhood account has been restricted. So last month, it came out. As you can see, Robinhood users say funds were ripped off, but there was no one to call. So last month, it came out that Somebody who was a user of Robinhood ended up having 450 shares of Moderna Inc. liquidated in their account. And they had 10,000 in, in withdrawals were pending. They tried to contact Robinhood, but uh, they basically, they don't have any phone calls. It's like all through email. And they basically told her they would do an investigation and it would take weeks. Of course, by then, those hackers or whatever are going to be long gone with her money. And so I also had read that it was a few other people who were experienced the same thing. And so on Instagram, I follow um, this financial guy uh, named Chris Johnson. He's good. Um, but he was talking about how Robin Hood, he had stopped earlier in the year, stopped using Robin Hood because they basically were up to some funny stuff. It's going, you know, it's, it's normal for apps and stuff to be hacked and have those type of situations. But when you cannot reach somebody about your money, that's an issue. And so he was encouraging people to transfer the assets out of Robinhood. You don't have to sell your uh, stocks and things to close out Robinhood, but you can still transfer, have asset transfer. So even in those comments of him saying that, it, it were people talking about, I was reading their comments, and they were talking about how they had those same situations happen to them where their account had been hacked, and Robin Hood took a while to respond, or in some situations, Robin Hood said that there was no evidence of fraud and that they did not reimburse them for the money that they were ripped off of. And so that just didn't sit right with me because to me, I had a good amount of money in Robin Hood and I just couldn't risk it. So I, you know, I told you before that I signed up for TD Ameritrade. I took uh, Robin Hood and I transfer all my assets over to TD Ameritrade. Now this is what got real irritating for me. So it said that it would take about a week, seven to ten days for this trade to happen. And of course TD Ameritrade charged me $75 which I should have just called um uh, I should have just called instead of doing it myself and, and tried to have the fee waived. Um, but also, unbeknownst to me, is that Robinhood also charged me $75. They took it out of my cash amount. So what Robinhood did 
was they transferred all of my stocks except for my fractional shares, and I had a good amount of uh, money and stuff invested into fractional shares. So they sold all of that. All of my fractional shares that I was not ready to sell. And so they sold it all, and then they held the money for a while, maybe another two weeks, before they actually started to transfer. Because it was just sitting there, and I was already being charged for TD Ameritrade. So I'm like, okay, can I take my money out of Robin Hood? You know, what's going on with this? And so, and I was like sending messages and then eventually somebody get back to me and say, oh, well, you know, your account is restricted because you're doing this asset transfer. And so I had to wait weeks to, to get, you know, my money, my assets. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I missed out on a lot, like, Stocks and everything were going up. I missed out on a lot because of this dang on transfer. And so, mind you, I didn't actually close out Robinhood. I just transferred my stocks. So, Robinhood is supposed to uh, have, a, you know, zero minimum account balance. Well, why is it basically over a month later and... It still says your Robinhood account has been restricted. If you have any questions, please contact support. I'm going to ask them why is it still restricted. Because um, I, I will admit, I do miss Robinhood um, because like their, infla their interface is so clean. <laughs> like It's so easy to understand everything on Robin Hood. That's why it's it's kind of great for beginners. But the fractional shares that <laughs> I miss. Like I signed up for Fidelity last week to invest in fractional shares, which they allow you to do, but the trick is you cannot sell any of those shares until it is a whole share. So it's like, oh, you know, so I'm I don't have the freedom to do uh, what I was able to do with the Robin Hood. Now, of course, Fidelity has their own benefits. Um, like, of course, they have free index funds on there. You don't, they don't charge you fees for that. So, you know, all these different investment broker, brokerage, brokerage accounts have its different benefits. There's different pros and cons. And so, you know, Robinhood has their con, but if if I do invest in Robinhood again, which I probably will to some fractional shares, I would just keep it to a low amount. I'm not going to risk losing a ton of money. It's just, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, that's my review on Robin Hood, um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you still want to sign up for Robin Hood, you can get a free stock in the, the link down below in the description box. And so thank you for watching. Um, if you use Robin Hood, tell me what you like about it, what you dislike about Robin Hood. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.